Now what we have is a bit of ginger. I don't usually put ginger in, but today I sneaked it into my bag in the supermarket and nobody saw me, so I'm gonna just give it a try, give it a whirl and see how it turns out in the end. But ginger is lovely when it's like in a soup or something. Like so. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the ginger uh, in with the curry. Because the curry could be very complimented with the with the ginger. Do you know what I mean? So let's tr let's just give it a try. Now, kind of the same way with the onions, we're gonna just chop the the ginger into strips, fine strips, and then dice it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, it's lovely when you get a nice bit of ginger, especially if you have a cold or something. You get it clear your cold. So putting yourself around shit like that. Now, dicing it very nicely. Oh, it's a great smell out of the ginger. Oh, if you smell it. Ah, oh, bleeding, lovely so it is. My next ingredient, the favourite of the lot. Bit of garlic, fucking love it. Probably put the whole bulb in, I love it that much. Do you know what I mean? But I'm probably gonna be cooking this for some other people. So, we'll only put three quarters of the bulb in. But I love it, it's deadly. Everything is nice with garlic, even cornflakes. Do you ever try cornflakes with garlic? You're yeah, missing out. You're missing out buddy. So let's do this, alright? We're gonna chop this garlic to be fucked and then we're gonna fuck it in the pan. Let's do it. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna crush it, right? So let's break it up a bit. We're gonna break it up, you know, take the skin off. That's lovely, like, see that? Best bulbs are in the inside, yeah? I don't know, I just made that up. Probably are though. Great, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna crush the hell out of this one, all right? Crushing. Oh yeah, put your body into it. Put your fucking body into it. Cause it helps when you're chopping that it's crushed, but it also helps take the skin off beforehand. So mainly putting your body into it. So chopping it nice and finely. Don't worry if it comes off clumpy a bit, because we'll chop it again and again and again and again and again until you know. That is, what you do is you're, you're kind of holding the knife down and you're chopping with one hand but you're not letting it get out of your other hand, you know? You're, you're keeping a bit of control, control. Yeah. Lovely. You know, the faster you go, the fucking better you feel. 